All right. Hello and welcome, everyone, to our webinar, Process Monitoring Down to the Smallest Part, the all-in-one solution from Tooscope and Spike Mobile. I'm happy to welcome you all here and would say let's start right away. Um, this webinar, as the title suggests, uh, we want to talk about process monitoring. But first of all, I would like to introduce the speakers and myself and a few notes about the agenda. Um, my name is Mark Rothschafer. I'm digital sales engineer at Sarah Tizard and will take care of the chat today and answer all your questions in the Q&A session afterwards. Um, Markus Preuss is head of product development product management tool control at Promicron, and we'll go into more detail about the sensor holders from Promicron. Martin Bernd is our product manager, digital solutions at Ceratizit, and will guide you through the whole webinar today. Martin, are you ready to continue? Yes, Mark. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Um, right now, I want to add a few notes about the communication during the online seminar. The online microphones are muted and the webcams are off. For our training purpose, we will record this online seminar. And if you agree to this, if, the, if, if you uh, <laughs> take care of this uh, seminar. For questions during the online seminar, please use the chat. And the chat is public, so all participants can see the question. We will try to answer all questions at the end at the questions and answers. Uh, here, you get an overview how to navigate in the online seminar. Let's start at the bottom left. There, you will find the information about our event. In the main screen, you will see the presentation and the videos. On the right-hand side, you can find the videos of the presenter, so you can see right me, uh, me right now. And uh, at, to see the, at the right, the chat to ask questions directly to us. And as I said, after our approval, the questions will be visible to everybody in this online seminar. So after this short introduction, we are now starting with the online seminar. Let me guide you through the agenda. We will start with a short insight into Certisit and continue directly with the Certisit cutting solution. Afterwards, I would like to highlight the daily changes directly from the production within two examples. To present the possible solutions from Certisit and Promicron. Afterwards, we will come to our application example of M2 thread milling and close the presentation with the outlook into the future. So let's start with the information about Certisit. With Certisit, or rather with the cutting tools team of the Certisit group, we are presentation, presenting the cutting tool solution in the industry. We provide support for almost all total changes in the extremely wide and complex field of cutting tools. And you know how incredibly fast trends and innovations are moving. What is the machining solution? It's an integrated product portfolio. The right tool for every application with standard tools individual adapted tools or tool concepts with the deployment of special tools. With our innovative orientation, we focus on further technologies and intelligent customer oriented, oriented digitalization. With our application engineers and industry experts, we are impart the highest level of user competence. We guarantee a level of knowledge that always remains at the latest level of, of the latest technology level. We also support you with a fast and efficient availability with one of the most modern logistic centers in Europe. We ensure shortest delivery times. So the best way to get an overview what is available through our main catalog, the industry catalog, or the special promotions. The cutting tools teams also include experts from numerous industries. So we talk here about automotive and engines, aerospace, mechanical, medical te technology, and heavy machining, to name just a few. You can really on more than 100 years of expert knowledge in the industry and benefit from the industry. 
specific tools or individual special tools is what we develop in close coordination with you. So the independent quality guarantee so it means that we are uh, exclusive the raw material sourcing, huge resources to mastery the entire process chain. As part of the service research group with more than 7,000 employees, we have direct access to our raw materials and therefore a very high level of competence over the complete manufacturing process of our carpets. From powder preparation, pressing, sintering, grinding, coating, to logistics and recycling. So we ensure the highest quality for our customers at currently 25 production sites worldwide. As a customer, you benefit from our innovations through strength, our know-how, and of course, for our complete, complete product range with over 100,000 different products. So under the holistic product portfolio of the 30 seed cutting solutions, we combine our four major competence brands. We have the cutting solutions from 30 seed with the focus on insert tools in turning and milling. In addition, they commit competence brands, complement the product portfolio with insert drills and reamers, as well as mechanical and electronic actuating tools. Under WNT, we understood HSS and VHM drills and nail cutters, as well as any um, threading tools. So this also includes numerous systems for tool and workpiece clamping. The comprehensive brand Clank combines all products of, of the aerospace industry. With all these competence in machining, we are the optimal cutting expert and supply you in any field. In addition to this program, I would like to, to introduce you to the 30 seed digital solutions. So before I talk about the digital solutions, I would like to talk about the daily changes on the, on the shop. So let's start with an example. Let's imagine we have, we want to machine a serious component with an insert drill. The insert drill can be seen here on the right side. The challenge is now we have to face, in this case, are different levels of wear, wear on the insert used, which also results in different tool lives. As the two pictures of the inserts um, shown also here in the, in, in the right bottom, you see here two different degrees of, of free face wear. So, but I don't want to go into more detail about the forms of wear. But these two inserts have machined exactly the same amount under the same conditions. But during the variations in the manufacturing process, there are differences. So these variations can cause by different material batches, different quality of pre-machining, and numerous other influencing factors. This results in a low reliability in production and in order to maintain the quality, a post-process quality control is required. This, this post-process quality control results in high costs in order to remain the process stability and to get the output quality on a high level. Therefore, one approach to solve this problem would be to set a maximum torque for the spindle and to monitor the process based on the forces. With increasing wear, the force applied to the tool or to the, to the spindle or to the axles also increases. I would like to go here into a second example. Here, we are talking about forged component for milling process. With these components, we are faced with the challenge that fluctuating stock offsets have a significant influence on the milling process. Also, different workpiece qualities of the pre-machining pre influence our process. The result in very high um, safety offsets, which can cause that the tool to be a little or not at all engaged. Fluctuating loads are the consequence and have a negative effect on the lifetime of the tools. 
In addition, the tools are not optimally used and still have a lot of potential. Here, also, the quality control measurements are increased, which also incur a high um, proportion of the costs. The solution here would be an active interaction into the process to react live to the process forces. With such a solution, we could also master the challenge in production. So let's talk and take a look at the zero deceit sol um, solutions for these daily changes in production. One of the solutions is the tool score principle, the digital monitoring for your production. We can integrate the tool scope into any machine tool and have a universal process monitoring system. With the production data, a wide warranty of processes can now be started. On the one hand, we can process this information and make it available for elevation, but the main focus is on our patented monitoring strategies. For all production, proceeds in a definite cutting edge. Of course, we can also intervene live into the process to realize a real-time capital control of the machining tool. So let's take a closer look how it works. The functionality of tools for can be explained very well on the basis of this illustration. First of all, we look at our tool scope right here in the middle, which can to be um, divided into hardware and software. We install our tool scope, which is nothing more than a small high performance industrial PC in the control cabinet of the machine tool and connected to it. Our software then takes over the remaining steps. We communicate directly with the machine. So the information from the machine is processed into the tool scope, but we can also influence certain values of the machine. So with this uh, interface, it's possible for us to monitor processes and then intervene if something it does not go according to the plan. With, for example, a direct stop to reduce or even to avoid further damages to the spindle, to the tool, or to the workpiece. So um, how do we um, display this information? You can see this right here on the visualization. This can be done in two different ways. Uh, on the one hand, we can display our tool scope directly on the HMI of the machine. HMI means here human machine interface, the classical surface of the control. On the other hand, it's also possible to visualize this on the external monitor. With this mounted directly on the machine tool, for example. This way we are independent from the display of the HMI. Of course, it's also possible to visualize the tool scope information from the workstation from home. So we are right here. For this, we are here at radio in the, upper in, in, the, in the upper side of the diagram. Not only the documentation of the individual process can be stored in any location, wherever local or in the cloud. Classical, the information of the individual process is stored in PNG or Excel capable documents. In addition, it's also possible to create a PDF for each process in order to comply with the current aggregation standards for documentation. To get back to our sources, um, the, the sources of information, we can also integrate external sensors into the tool scope to start process monitoring from this information as well. We have also realized this with the Spike mobile from Promicron. As you can see here, the information from the Spike is displayed directly in the tool scope. This enables us to monitor a blending moment, a tertiary moment, and the axial force. This results in numerous further possibilities, which will be presented by Mr. Markus Preuss from Promarket in just a moment. First of all, I would like to briefly describe the functions of Toolscope. So this slide shows all functions of the Toolscope. You see here our main functions in the middle. On the one hand, there's the TS process monitoring. 
So this is this in the right in the middle. Uh, the TS process monitoring um, is where the tolerance limits are classically placed over a process and uh, trust and monitoring takes place. So we see here on the logo, the red forces, the red process forces. And uh, on the white, we see the tolerance limits on the tolerance brands. As soon as the, uh, the process touches the tolerance brands, it's an immediately machine stop is triggered. Therefore, um, on this side, you can see the TS adaptive feed control. This describes the adaptive feed control. With this function, we can actively intervene into the machine and react directly to the force changes in order to project the tool or to reduce cycle time. In the upper corner, you can see our partner Tyrolyt, which takes over the production area of the undefinite cutting edge. All toolscope is also used for grinding and provides an optimal supplement for this area with function such as automatic dressing and a cutting volume monitor. As you can see, there are numerous functions to advance the digitalization of your production. You can react very individual to the customer wishes and adjust, adjust our tool scope to them. For further questions and deeper insights in our digital solutions, please contact us and we will take care of your request. But right now, I would like to hand over the, the road and the floor to Promicon. Thank you, Martin, uh, for this nice introduction. And also from my side, I want to bid welcome to everybody. It's a pleasure to be part of this webinar and to introduce our spike system as described by Martin. Thanks a lot. So the combination of the two systems, TwoScope and our spike technology brings a lot of benefits. On the right side, we see um, the, in, the indirect measurement system TwoScope, which provides you the torsion. And on the left side, we see our two different kinds of sensors, the spike mobile with different sensitivity levels and the forces axial, the torsion moment, bending moment in X and Y, and the patented spike polar. With the spike polar, we are able to see each cutting fluid, but I will introduce and show you in the next slide a few more information. In the middle, you can see the spike in spindle where we are, where we got the axial force and also the bending moment. And like we can see, axial force, bending moment, and torsion. So the combination of spike and two scope is very nice and brings a lot of benefits. We can use this system or the systems for the processes milling, drilling, threading, reaming, turning, grinding, and FSW. On the next slide, we can see on the left um, a new tool, a Vern tool, and a tool with broken cutting fluid. You can see in red the broken cutting fluid and in yellow the Vern cutting flutes. There we have to, or I have to mention that there is a huge impact of the workpiece quality uh, correlation to the status of the tool. And our visualization, so the big data we produce, is our spike polar. With the spike polar, we can see each single cut, cutting flute. And like you can see here on the top, we got these four flutes and we got some this special flower. So all four cutting flutes can be seen here. In the middle, we can see that the more burn the tool gets, the more force each cutting flute flute needs and so we can see that this flower grows and our spike polar shows the the burn tool if there's now a broken cutting flute you can see that from one direction there is no force anymore that's very nice for the experts and the analyzers after the process but during the process when we want to react with the machine this data is too much to react 
So we have our spike KPIs, which you can see as mentioned as monitoring smart data. With this smart data, we get very nice and very special algorithm which calculate out of our spike polar special events. For example, a broken cutting flute or phenomenal of chattering. So we can see here the spike KPI on the top is green. Even at the Vern tool, it's green because the, the flower is still symmetrical and our spike polar still. And the increase of the, um, of the forces, just you can see the symmetrical part at the bottom and the lowest picture, you can see there's a red light. And here you can do reactions with the machine. In combination with Toolscope, we, for example, can do change the sister tool or stop the machine. In order to better explain you the benefits of Spike in combination with Toolscope, I would like to show you a thread milling example in serial production. This example will be sh will be shown in more detail uh, with the video shortly but before i want to give you an overview what you will see later in the video on the right side you can see the comparison with the pencil of this thread miller m2 so the size comparison you can see that is very very tiny and small tool above this example you can see our sensory tool holder of the lowest sensitivity class a so our spike mobile in combination with this tool at this red milling process on the left side you can see the force curves in orange you can see the Vern tool after 27 threads in blue you can see the new tool at the first thread and you can see also that the bending moment increased from 0.5 newton meter to 1.5 newton meter during this 27 threads. So much from my side and our spike system. Thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoy today's talk. I would like to address Martin Bernd again, and maybe we'll see you later at the question round. Thank you. Thank you very much, Markus. Um, so uh, right now, as uh, Markus mentioned, um, I would like to um, dive in into the combination of 30 seed and Promicron, or deeper, the combination, combination of Toolscope and Spike. And uh, as uh, Markus Price just said, um, I would like to go right here into um, um, a video. So just give me a small moment. Okay, so we see right here in the video the thread milling that's uh, implemented classical in the production. We start uh, right here with the pilot hole, uh, pilot hole of 1.65 millimeter in diameter to prepare the process for the thread milling cutter. The process shown here four times slower. After that, it comes to the thread milling cutter. This process shown here um, four times faster. Here, you can see um, before and after machined. Afterwards, the thread quality must be checked to ensure quality reliability. For this purpose, I had um, the blank to turn into the thread. If it fits, it's okay. And if it does not fit, it must be reworked. The machine operator enters the correction factor manually based on his experience. And the, purpose, and the process is repeated until the thread is okay. Currently, it's a lot of machining steps are necessary here. 
So I think we are ready for the digital solution of the Automatis in production. Um, so let's see the solution, the digital solution from Toolscope and Spike Mobile. Now the torque is monitored from both processes. Right here, you can see the drilling process, again, four times faster. And afterwards, we see um, the milling process. Here, we can see the blending moment from the Spike Mobile. This information right now is stored and saved into the tool scope and also displayed into the, in the tool scope. And now the tool scope um, displays this information and now we are calculating. So this means we have an automatic two radius compensation. So, and now right now we have calculated this value and sent it directly to the to the machine tool. And afterwards, the, um, the process can be started again within one cut. So within one cut, we are able to finish the M2 thread milling process. So, and thank you for this. And right now I would like to dive in into the presentation. So, and um, right now, I just want to make an, an, again, a look at what we can see right here in the video. So take another look um, to the conventional processes, the conventional pro procedure. So the pre-drilling and thread milling are not monitored due to the small forces that exist in these processes. To check the thread, the machine must be stopped and the quality, the quality checked manually. For adjustment, the correction factor must be also entered manually. Of course, this also results in some sources of error. This uh, results in a high time requirement for quality control and also very high costs for quality check, also with additional employees. In contrast, the digital solution. Here we can monitor the processes of pre-drilling and thread milling with the functions of Toolscope and Spike. The thread quality is checked live and our smart solution calculates the correction factor and transmit the result to the control. This will save you a significant amount of time in production and reduce your costs within quality inspection. So this process is the next step in smart manufacturing. So right now I want to give you a short outlook into the future of the things that are possible with the solution from Toolscope and Spike Mobile and the partnership from Seat and Promicron. So let's have a look. Um, the current shown example of the M2 and uh, thread milling with the calculation and the transmission of the correction factor will be available in just a few months. Um, the display of the spike polar, as shown from um, Marcus Preuss and uh, just some slides before, is already possible. So the next step is to monitor the spike polar live to realize and process monitoring and where monitoring based on this information or based on this data. So this opens up and numerous other possibilities in smart manufacturing. But I think we can be really excited of what's going on in the future. So right now I'm um, at the end of my presentation and I'm now very happy to answer a few more questions from you. So I just um, saw there are already some questions in the chat, um, but if you have the questions, now is the perfect time. So uh, use the chat and uh, after the approval, these are visible for all. Thank you very much.
So um, let's start with the questions. Uh, the first question is, uh, with which controllers can the two scope connect, Martin? That is a good question. Um, we are able to operate a wide range of controls. So as a standard, we are talking here about uh, Siemens, Farnock, and Heidenheim. And in addition, after a short check, um, um, other controls are also possible. So, however, with these, uh, we serve the, the, the major of the controls uh, on the market. Very good. Um, the next question regarding machine types and uh, what can be monitored. So, the question is what uh, about different types of machines? Can you also monitor turning machines? And um, also the free turn that was introduced lastly here. Yeah, um, in short, yes. Um, so um, we can monitor turning machines. So we can equip the turning machines with our tool scopes and start process monitoring. A typical monitoring variables, uh, here are the spindle feed, added the spindle and the feed axles. Uh, of course, um, the tool spindles um, can also be monitored in a turning milling center. So, and um, also, if you are thinking about turning, I'm thinking about the free turn. So, the we are also possible, or it's also possible to um, to connect to the uh, to monitor um, the free turn. So, we have uh, made uh, some internal tests to the employment of the high dynamic turning. So we are here able to make a wear monitoring and also um, the process monitoring. So. Very good. I have one more question for Markus Preuss and also one more to Martin. Uh, maybe the question to Markus first. Uh, the question is, which tool shanks are applicable for Spike Mobile, meaning HSK 63, 150, 120, Capto or BT? Um, that was the first question. Second question, is there a limitation for the use related to tools and processes? Uh, for example, depot drilling, heavy cutting, asymmetric tools interrupted cutting processes or variable material strength? So I would answer first. Uh, so we as Promicron don't produce tool holders. So also we buy them as, as you from other tool holder producers like Regofix, Guring, Bikaiser and so on. Uh, so for us, it is possible to make a spike holder out of nearly every tool holder on the market. And out of that reason for us, the tool shank doesn't really matter or the diameter of the tool shank doesn't really matter. And we got holders, HSK, SK, BT, BBT, so in nearly all dimensions. So for us, for us the shank diameter doesn't matter. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, the second question related to the use, um, I guess you also mentioned it a little bit. Uh, is there any kind of limitation regarding the processes that you can monitor, such as depot drilling, heavy cutting, threading, reaming? Um, so then the limits for tool scopes, so we have no limits. If the machine can do it, we also can monitor it. Um, I think this uh, question goes more um, to the to the spike side. If there are limits from the from the spike mobile, oh. uh, so, yes, correct. So far, uh, the limitations for us, uh, we don't have any limitations so far. Out of a uh, interrupt cutting process, uh, asymmetric tools, depot drilling. So far, I don't know any limitations in such processes. The limitation is the tool holder and we get a sensor system on the tool holder. So, yeah. Yeah, very good. Also from my side regarding the tool scope, I think most uh, things can be solved very quickly by just adapting, for example, the NC program properly uh, to start and stop the monitoring during the uh, machining process and to um, 
directly yeah, start and stop these processes at the right time where you really want to monitor something. Um, so it can be from uh, monitoring the whole process to, for example, only uh, monitoring the last two millimeters of a cut uh, to be able to define if the tool is still there. Um, one question regarding to uh, the video that we've just seen, how does the system calculate the correction of the tool radius? Is it linked to the measurement of the thread done in the part or only the torque registered? Martin, would you like to answer or should I? Um, I think I start and you go on. <laughs> um, so um, the system um, collects information from the blending moment from the from the spike mobile and afterwards the calculation is done so the, i think that's all from my side maybe marcus you can go a little bit deeper into the detail yeah um like presented before we got um spike kpis and spike kpis not just only calculate out of the spike polar so in such a use case we calculated out of the bending moment which we had during the process and after test after a lot of tests, we calculated out how big the radius correct, correction should be out of the bending moment. And that's the information we calculated and sent this information to the tool scope. And the tool scope is the system which makes the radius correction in the machine. All right, thank you very much. Another question. Um probably regarding uh, also Promicron and TwoScope. Um, do you perform sensor fusion? Um, so combining different uh, sensor signals. If yes, which algorithms you use for sensor fusion? Um, Marcos, maybe you, you start with, the, with this uh, question. Um, so, the sensor fusion, do you know what is meant exactly with sensor fusion? I think it's um, to monitor, for example, the torsion and bending moment at the ah. same time and use it as a combined signal to decide if a process is working well or not. Okay, so that's more a question for Tuscope. Um, so um, we are able to combine the, the informations so we're able to monitor uh, up to um, four different NC channels. So um, it's also possible to monitor um, the two or the three different signals from, from the spike mobile. And I have one more question regarding the spike mobile, uh, regarding uh, face milling monitoring. Uh, can you use spike mobile on big face milling tools with, for example, 32 inserts? And can you see if one of these inserts have cutting edge chipping? Uh, it's not 100% clear, I have to mention uh, at first. Um, Definitely, yes, we can use Spike Mobile also for uh, big face milling tools. The thing is that um, the Spike Polar shows uh, the bending moment. So when you get 32 inserts and they are one after each other, normally we will see them. But if you, for example, get uh, at the same time contact of two inserts, then maybe there could be a difference of that we can see each single insert. We can uh, we can calculate if it's symmetrical or not. So out of this information, also sometimes we can detect that there is something wrong. But maybe in such situations, if they are if two inserts are in contact at the same time because they are above each other and not uh, next to each other, it could be able that we can see all the inserts. Thank you very much. Um, that was currently the last question of the yeah, question pipeline. Uh, feel free to ask all the questions that you have. Um, for me, it's very nice to get in touch uh, yeah, with our customers um, on this platform while we can't be at the customers physically. Um, so I think this is a very good opportunity uh, that we can use. 
Um, let's wait a minute more. Otherwise, uh, from my side, um, I thank you very much for the attendance. Um, and uh, if you have any questions after this meeting or want to get in touch with us, uh, you can visit our websites at Ceratizit or Promicron or get in touch regarding your questions uh, under twoscope at ceratizit.com directly. So thank you, Mark, very much. I think we have no more questions uh, until now. So uh, as, as uh, Mark just said, um, you can uh, find us and ask our questions if you have more uh, on the websites uh, of, of uh, Surity Seed or Promicron and get in touch uh, directly with us and you will also get the answer as soon as possible. So that's, all, uh, that's also all from my side. So thank you very much for listening and take care here at the DIMAP. And that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Also, thank you from my side and enjoy the DMAP, enjoy the meetings and hope to see you again. Have a nice time. Bye bye. Have a nice Thank time. Thank you very much, bye. ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye.